this is Wanda Mann, also known as the Black Dress Traveler, and today I'm taking my taste buds on a trip through Spain, courtesy of the wonderful wines of El Coto de Rioja. Did I say that correctly? You said perfectly. Perfectly. Very good Spanish <laughs> pronunciation. Well, I, I have a little bit of an advantage. I did study in Spain when I was younger, and that's really how I got to know wine, was through my time in Spain. All right. It's such an important part of the culture, and Ocoto so, is certainly a brand that... That it's it's, it's all around the place, really. Huh? You name it, restaurants, uh, supermarkets. It's, it's In fact, El Coto... Uh, today is the is the biggest wine brand in Spain. Really? Yeah, not only Rioja, but talking globally and talking, you know, putting together, you know, all the products we make uh, is it's the leading wine brand today. In wow, Spain. it's yeah. fascinating. Yeah. And I believe you started in 1970. Correct. We started in 1970, and basically, uh, you know, uh, until that time, I know, you know, I normally talk about the new generation of the 70s in Rioja okay. because you know, in Rioja. In very old times, the tradition was to make, uh, you know, what we would call in Spanish vino fino. Mm -hmm. So these were wines normally coming from a mix of local varieties that would be aged for a very long time in barrel and in bottle before release so that the traditional Rioja wine wouldn't really be a very fruity wine. It would be rather complex and with great book, great bouquet, great expression. And so in the 70s, there's a new generation of wineries, uh, one of which is El Coto. Uh, that come up to the market with a new uh, idea about making wines in Rioja much more accessible to all the public because it will be of course you know oak aging is very important it's essential Absolutely. to the to the background of Rioja but then much more focus on the fruit huh? and so um, and, and you know in, in our history from 1970 till now you know we, we, we got to build you know bit by bit a, a, a major brand a major project and, uh, and, a, and a very impressive uh, winery and uh, you know the fact is, I mean, there's not really any esoteric region w uh, reason why the you know we the project was so successful. It's basically about you know making very good value for money, so very good value wines for the consumer. Absolutely. So delivering very good quality wines to the consumer for a very you know fair price, and then consistency in the in the in the quality. Very very important. Victor is absolutely right. El Coto de Riojas wines are for great value but don't compromise on quality and they have a true sense of place. When you drink wines from El Coto, you know you are drinking wines from the Rioja, wines from Spain. Red wine may account for almost 90% of El Coto de Rioja's production, but they really have a way with their white wine as well. I found it extremely aromatic, fresh and crisp, made from 100% viola, which is an indigenous grape, has vivacious notes of citrus and pear and just a hint of fine herbs. Victor described it as a terrazzo wine, one you enjoy outside, perhaps on a beautiful terrace with some friends and some delicious tapas. Only $11.99. It's a really delicious alternative to Chardonnay or Pinot Grigio. The first thing you'll notice about Ocoto's Rosado or Rosé is the beautiful stunning color. It's a really dramatic shade of salmon that is just quite pretty and the taste doesn't disappoint. A medium bodied rosé is a traditional blend of garnacha and tempranillo. It's juicy with beautiful flavors of red cherry that are balanced with minerality and just a hint of fine herbs. This rosado proves that rosé isn't just for summer. You can enjoy it as an aperitif or with a delicious meal all year round and it's only $11.99. Of course, when we think of Rioja, we often think of red wine, and that's for good reason. The Tempranillo grape reigns supreme in the Rioja region. And Ocoto's Crianza Rioja is one of the most popular wines in Spain and one of the top selling Riojas in the world. It's made from 100% Tempranillo, and it's aged 12 months in oak and six in a bottle. This is a really beautiful expression of Rioja. It has flavors of fresh raspberries, cherry, cedar, spice. It's a classic Rioja that won't disappoint a point and it's only $12.99. Let's wrap up our exploration of El Coto de Rioja with something really special. Their Coto de Imas Rioja Reserva Rioja, 100% Tempranillo that is sourced from the state vineyards, is aged longer than a crianza and spends 18 months in oak and 24 months in the bottle. So all of those beautiful fruit and spice flavors are even more balanced and more integrated and more luscious and even more delicious. This is a wine that is smooth and juicy and food friendly with a lovely lingering finish, perfect with the medium rare steak or some roast lamb, and it's only $22.99.
So are you ready for a real sip of Spain? Well, go ahead and grab a bottle of El Coto de Rioja. They offer a great selection of affordable wines that are absolutely delicious and food friendly. Tapas, anyone? 